Okay, everybody, in this uh, video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Trump presidency. Obviously, Trump uh, was a one-time president, one-term president from 2016 to 2020, lost to Biden in the Electoral College as well as the uh, popular vote. So let's take a quick look at some of um, the things that happened during Trump's presidency. Um, ran off of a platform called Make America Great Again, or MAGA, as we, we, we come to know. Um, a lot of it, too, was kind of this America first policy kind of maybe in a sense trying to appeal to a lot of maybe middle America or the South to, you know, where, where places that maybe their jobs have gone out of the country, um, maybe trying to focus on that area and get those people out and vote. Um, Trump did have some some issues with the deficit. He increased the deficit during this time, uh, cut taxation on the wealthy, and didn't really cut spending as we see during Reagan's era. Um, when you do that, you don't usually uh, um, save money on that. Another controversial thing that came out of the Trump presidency was the separation policy that we still see effects of today, where undocumented um, immigrants and their children were separated and some children were put into facilities and lost track of, you know, kind of contact with their parents. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of some controversy. It was the brainchild of a, of a policymaker named Stephen Miller, who was part of the Trump administration, and came to be a, a very controversial part of the Trump administration. Uh, Trump also was the president when COVID-19 originally happened, right? Uh instituted something the cares act, called the cares act and as well as a stimulus package that we saw where payments were made to the american people as well as loans were given out to to companies that helped them stay solvent when uh, we had a lot of the shuts downs that happened here um here in the united states you know in california specifically in san diego we saw a lot of things like restaurants bars um, you know, they were closed down. They were limiting the amount of people that could go into stores. Um, so a lot of these things were put into place to help uh, business owners try to stay afloat. And, and it was kind of a little bit alarming. I've seen some of the people that, that, that um, were able to get some of the CARES package funds. Um, and, you know, this is I'm a, I'm a Laker fan. I was kind of surprised that the Los Angeles Lakers received uh, funding from that. Um, but yeah, you know, we're still going to see the fallout and still see, you know, kind of the, the the allegations of people who weren't totally entitled to those loans or those payments, uh, getting them, um, you know, it's all going to start, uh, you know, rising up and, and coming out and people will generally really kind of look negatively on that. He also was involved with something called the First Step Act, along with Kim Kardashian, where there was a, an attempt to reform criminal justice. Of sentencing laws and also reduce uh, recidivism. Recidivism is where somebody gets out of prison and two or three months later they go right back in. So, you know, we have a lot of disparaging, uh, disparaging uh, type things in our sentencing system here in the United States and, our, and we all know our criminal justice system is, is, is biased um, both ethnically as well as socioeconomically. Um, I think, you know, it, it's pretty safe to say that a person who can't afford a great attorney uh, doesn't really have as much of a chance at justice as someone that can. Um, but yeah, you know, we've seen like minor drug crimes uh, put people in jail for a long time and, and Trump along with Kim Kardashian worked together to try to reform this and try to get people out of jail who probably really didn't belong there in the first place. Uh, Trump has the, the distinction to be uh, the, one of the presidents that's been, uh, the only president that's been impeached twice. Uh, the first one was an alleged attempt to coerce the Ukraine into digging up dirt on a potential opponent in Joe Biden. And then in uh, January of 2021, we saw the Jan January 6th insurrection, the January 6th riots, where... Um, Trump was accused of inciting that riot and inciting an insurrection for which he was impeached. Remember, the House will bring the charges of impeachment or the articles of impeachment, and then the Senate will try it kind of as a jury. Um, and in both instances, he was acquitted by the Senate. So um, kind of has that distinction of being the only president to be impeached twice. 
um, you know, controversial president had his, uh, you know, kind of very, very polarizing. People hated him. People loved him. So one of those things is really interesting. And, you know, he did make a very interesting and a very, you know, uh, surprising win in 2016. So, um, you know, it, and it seems that, like I said, he is either loved by a segment of the population or absolutely vilified by the other. So, you know, and. I don't know if there's really that many people that fall in between. Uh, but yeah, you know, controversial four years, and um, uh, we'll see what happens in 2024. Okay, thanks a lot.